What is up my Body Weight Warriors and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through the final part of this follow along series. We've already had the front splits, the pancake, hamstrings, all of the other stuff. Today we're going to be doing the middle splits because we finally have access to a nice slidey carpet. So I recommend you get socks for this one. Without further ado, let's jump into the follow along. So we're going to start as usual in our hip swivel position, so legs up, feet out. We're just going to drop to the left hand side first, let the hips move and then lift up again and drop to the right hand side. If you've done any of these follow alongs, you'll probably be aware of this one by now. So we're going to do 10 on each side, so we're going to swivel back and forth. Should feel a little stretch in external and internal rotation of the hip. So uh, just a little note today. Middle splits are a temperamental flexibility one. Uh, they're going to vary on a day-to-day -day basis. Some days you have good days, some days you have bad days. You need to respect what level of flexibility you have on the day and try not to force it. So for me personally, some days I have pretty much full middle splits. Other days I'll be like a foot off the floor. Depends on my stress, depends on lots of things on my training. So I'm going to try and respect that today. I'm do one more and then we're going to finish. First of all, with the left hand side, and then come forward onto that left hand side. We're going to just lean over that left hip, get a little bit of a glute stretch going on. Try to not round the back, try to keep the back nice and arched, and just lean over. Just going to hold this for a second. We're going to do a couple of reps of PNF. So, the PNF, we're going to push the knee down into the ground, hold for five seconds, and breathe out. Try to relax and go a little bit deeper. Same again, so press. Five seconds, relax, go a little bit deeper. And then we're gonna do one more, so press in, relax, go a little bit deeper. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and shuffle this back leg just out a bit so we can kind of rock on over into a little bit of a pigeon position if we can do. Just get a little bit more of a stretch. You know, the amount you rock over will determine how hard this stretch is. I'm just gonna hold this one for about 20, Hang on, so seconds. Again, if you can just roll over a little bit, that's absolutely fine. This is just going to help develop a little bit of external rotation of the hip, which is what we're going to need later on when we go and do those middle splits. All right, come back to the middle, swivel over to the other side, over onto that right leg, twist. I'm going to come on down into a nice bit of a line. So we're going to do that PNF again. So press the knee into the ground. Relax, go a little bit deeper. Press the knee in. Relax, go a little bit deeper. Let's do one last one here. And relax. And again, same things, push that back leg out. Try to get a little bit of movement over into that pigeon position. I'm just going to hold this one for about 20 seconds. Right, so that's those two done on each side. We're going to come back into the middle. We're going to come back into what would be called a tailor pose or a butterfly position. As you can see, mine is far from perfect, but that's fine. So we're going to come here. We're going to put our right hand down. We're going to press our left leg down towards the ground to get a little bit more stretch. And what I'm going to do when I'm in this position, I'm going to try and think about trying to pull my right leg down to the ground as well. So I'm going to use my glute. All I'm thinking about doing is I'm keeping this left leg in place and I'm trying to think about trying to pull that right knee down. I'm just going to Hold this position. About 20 seconds. Keep trying to pull that knee down. Keep trying to open the hips up. And we're going to swap sides. So again, push that knee all the way down to the ground. And then I'm thinking about trying to get this left knee now down to the ground. Keep trying to pull down. Keep pulling. So you get a nice stretch in the adductor, so this is the inside of the thigh. And we can come back to the centre now. Hands on the feet. Use the elbows now to press the knees down into the ground. 
And all I'm gonna do is we're gonna press down as far as we can, and then we can do some more pin F. So what I'm gonna do with my pin F, I'm gonna try and lift my legs up into my elbows, hold for five seconds, and I breathe out, try to push them further down. So pull into the elbows, try to lift those legs up, breathe out, go a little bit deeper. Same again, pull, and breathe out, and try to go as far forward with this one as you can. Don't worry about so much about the back rounding, it's going to open up those hips. All right, that's part one. Ooh, we're going to come up, I'm going to come into the same sort of position, so the legs are together with this one, into what would be a frog. I'm going to turn a little to the side so you can see the camera. So we're just going to rock backwards and forwards in this position first. Move them out. Should just feel a nice little stretch in the groin. Backwards and forwards. And then what we're going to do is we are now going to bring the legs out to be 90 degrees. Come down to the forearm so we can rock backwards and forwards. All the way forward, all the way back. When you come back each time, get your left hand or your right hand and try and nudge the knee out a bit so you make the stretch wider and then come back. So all the way out, all the way back. We're going to try and push that knee out further. Push the knee out. Middle splits is always not a particularly fun one to do. Um, it's always a painful stretching routine. All right, one last one. Just gonna try and push that leg out a tiny bit more. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips down. Hold it, and come back. I'm just gonna hold this final position for about 30 seconds. Just try to get a little bit more comfortable with it. By the way, while we're holding this for 30 seconds, if you haven't already, on this channel, um, if you wanna go ahead and subscribe while I'm talking about, um, there's already a full loaded middle splits routine, which you can follow along, which I think is a very effective routine. It's something I use personally and I use a lot of clients. And then there is also a middle split PNF routine, both of which are fantastic. We're gonna cover a little bit of the PNF routine in today's video, but I'll link those in the description down below. Right, so come back out of that. I'm just gonna shake it off a second. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some sort of single leg middle splits to also help with the opening up. So I'm gonna start in a similar sort of frog position. We're just gonna straighten one leg out straight. And I'm gonna come down into a nice middle split like position. If you can, the foot can be on the floor, the foot can be up in the air, whatever feels comfortable for you. So we're in this position here. Try to stay nice and upright with the chest. And we're just gonna rock forward onto the hands, rock back, try to sit a little bit onto the heels. So we're just going to do 10 of these rocks, a little pulse at the bottom. This one you should feel a little bit more of a hamstring. So this, so we've got the uh, medial hamstring, we're going to be working a little bit more on this one, so a little bit more upright. Going can incorporate the hamstring element of the middle splits. About six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, just gonna hold this one for about ten seconds at the bottom. If you can, try to feel like you can shuffle that right leg out a little bit further. I'm gonna bring it into the center. I'm gonna push the other leg out to the side. And again, trying to stay nice and upright here. I personally prefer to let my feet turn up when I'm doing middle splits, but it's highly individual. And again, on the hands, rock back, feel that stretch in the medial hamstring. Four. Last one, just gonna try and hold this position for about 10 seconds. 
I can already tell I'm feeling tight today, but it's been a day I've been sort of working, I've been about doing some stuff all day, so I'm kind of expected to be tight. As I said, try not to have any too sort of many preconceptions with where your flexibility should be. Don't have your expectations, just play it by feel on the day. When you get injuries doing advanced stretching, it's when you're trying to push yourself to where you think you should be rather than where you are. So we're just gonna let that one relax and shake it off. And then we're just gonna do a, a quick test. We're gonna see where our middle splits is at today. So we're gonna have to see like where it is now. We'll do a couple of exercises in a second and then see where it ends up. So for this one, what you're gonna do, you can enter middle splits however you want. I personally like to go from a squat and just let my legs sort of slide out. So I'm gonna come into my squat position and just let my legs slide. I'm just gonna go down, see where things are at. So for me, I would say this is probably about average. Right, come back out. Right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna start with now a couple of repeats of the same exercises. We're gonna do something called a pissing dog, which is what I covered in the middle splits routine. So I'm gonna start in a quadruped position and bring your right leg out to the side. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to try and lift up that leg. If you can't do it straight, just bring it in tucked and do it in that position. And we're going to lift for five seconds. And relax. And what we're trying to do here is not twist too much. We're just going to try and stay relatively square. I'm going to do five of these. That's two. One. Two, three, five, oh, three. This shouldn't be easy, by the way. This is four. And one last one. Oh, take a little breather. We're now going to do the same thing on the left hand side. So, again, left hand. Leg out, if you can, straight, do straight. If you have to do tucked, do tucked and lift. That's one. That's two. On. That's three. I'm not very good at counting. I need, need a metronome or something. Yeah, need one more, or two more. Four, two, three, four, five. Last one. All right, that is the first exercise. Now, we're gonna slide on down into the middle splits. This is gonna be the fun bit. So however you want to slide down into it. We're going to get down into our lowest position. What we're going to do is we're going to use pin up. So we're going to press the heels into the ground. We're going to hold that 10 seconds. So keep pressing, keep squeezing the ground with the thighs. Take a nice deep breath out. And we're going to try and sink a little bit deeper. Same again, press into the ground. 10 seconds, breathe out. Try to sink a bit deeper. Now we're gonna do one more. Press. Keep pressing, keep going, keep pressing. Breathe out. I'm just gonna try and now hold this final position for about 10 more seconds. And then we can drop back. Oh, into our straddle sit. I was not expecting to do that one. Ah. Oh. And this is kind of how I finish every set of middle splits. Just kind of <laughs> question why I've been doing this, question my existence. We're gonna take 30 seconds rest, however you want. If you feel like you need to get up, give it a little bit of a walk off, that is fine. I kind of feel like I need to do that. Usually you kind of get up and you're stumbling around like an old man as your legs trying to figure out where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna keep resting. Uh, I actually like quite like to do the hip swivels if you are interested. Just let the, the tension in the hips go a little bit. And we're gonna do that last thing that we just did. We're gonna do it one final time. So let's do 
couple of hip swivels. I'm actually sweating here doing this. Usually I don't sweat doing the follow alongs, but I'm sweating on this one. Middle splits is intense, you do it right. All right, if you're enjoying this routine, by the way, you can hit that thumbs up button, support the channel. <laughs> Are you ready? One final set. So we're gonna go back into that quadruped position and we're gonna see how low we can get with the middle splits. So right leg out, and you're just gonna lift five reps, five seconds. Two, four, five. Should feel the glute really work, at least that's what we're looking for, the glutes be working really hard. Two, three, four, five. Might have been a bit quick on that one. Three, over halfway on this leg. That's four. One, final one on this leg. Three, five, four. You haven't said flexibility training was easy. They do not know what they're talking about. All right, left leg, lift. It's one. Two. Three. Keep lifting, come on. Two more. Final one on this side. That was tough. <laughs> right, now we're gonna slide on into our middle splits. We're gonna do the same thing again, that P and F work. So let's go. So, I'm gonna get down into a nice comfortable position ish. I'm gonna press into the ground. 10 seconds. Breathe out. And try and sink a little deeper. Same again. Press. Breathe out. A bit deeper. One last one, press. Try and sink a little bit deeper. I'm just gonna hold this last one, gonna hold for 10 seconds. Woo! Ow! <laughs> You'll notice on that one, uh, and on the first one, I tend to put my hips a little bit back, and uh, that's because Anatomically, it depends on people's hip positions, how they're gonna be able to do middle splits. For most people, it end up looking like a really, really wide straddle sit position. But that is it for the routine, guys. You can do this final uh, pairing, the pissing dog, the middle split. You can do that for another set if you wanted to. I'm currently sweating quite badly. But that is basically it for the routine. If you wanna grab the full routine, there is a link to a PDF in the description down below on my blog. Otherwise, that has been it for today, guys. If you've already said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe, you can always hit that subscribe button as well. And if you have any questions about today's video, about this follow along, or want to request another follow along in the future, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace. Oh, I feel like an old man. Thank you.